we want to reinvent the phone. Now, what's the killer app? The killer app is making calls. It's amazing. It's amazing how hard it is to make calls on most phones. Most people actually dial them every time. Most people don't have very many numbers in their address book. They use their recents as their address book, right? How many of you do that? I bet more than a few. So we want to let you use contacts like never before. You can sync your iPhone with your PC or Mac and bring down all your contacts right into your phone. So you've got everybody's numbers with you at all times. We have something that's going to revolutionize voicemail today. We call it visual voicemail. Wouldn't it be great if you, didn't, if you had six voicemails, if you didn't have to listen to five of them first before you wanted to listen to the sixth? Wouldn't that be great if you had random access voicemail? Well, we've got it. Just like email, you can go directly to the voicemails that interest you. Excellent audio quality. iPhone is a quad band GSM plus Edge phone. We have decided, we've decided to go with the most popular international standard, which is GSM. We're on that bandwagon, headed on that roadmap, and uh, plan to make uh, 3G phones and all sorts of other amazing things in the future. So quad bad GSM plus Edge. And of course, we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 2.0 EDR built in as well. And so this is what it looks like when you get a call. This is what it sounds like. It's one of our ringtones you can pick, of course. So, I want to show you four things. I want to show you the phone app, photos, got a calendar, and SMS messaging. The kind of things you would find on a typical phone, but in a very untypical way now. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's go to our phone first. You see that uh, icon in the lower left-hand corner of the phone? I just push it right here, and boom, I'm in the phone. And I've got five buttons across the bottom. Favorites, recents, contacts, keypad, and voicemail. I'm in contacts right now again. How do I move around my contacts? I just scroll through them. And so let's say I want to make a call to Johnny Ive. I can just push here, and I see Johnny Ive's contacts with all his information, his three phone numbers, his email, whatever else, his address, whatever else I've got, it's all in one place. And if I want to call Johnny, all I do is push his phone number. I'll call his mobile number right now. And now we are calling Johnny here. <coughs> I could turn on a speakerphone like this if I wanted to. Hello, Steve. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Well, it's been two and a half years, and I, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to make the first public phone call with iPhone. <laughs> I, I remember when we first started working on this, and it's just, it's just unbelievable. Whoa, whoa, what is this? I've got another call coming in. Johnny, can I put you on hold for a minute? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I put Johnny on hold, and hi, Phil. Oh, Steve, I wanted to be the first call. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Phil. As you can see, it's put, it's put Johnny on hold, and Phil, I can just touch Johnny and bring Johnny back. Hey, Johnny, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, listen, uh, Phil called. Do you mind if I uh, conference him in? I can, sir. <laughs> you can see the uh, button has changed to merge calls right there in the middle, so I just pushed that right here, and now I've created a conference call. Johnny, you there? I'm here. Phil, you there? Oh, Phil, hang it on. So here we are. And uh, listen, I've got to get back to my keynote. So uh, if I want to do that, what I'm going to do, I just touch this arrow right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Johnny private here and uh, put Phil on hold. Johnny, do you have anything to say on the first phone call? It, it's, uh, it's not too shabby, is it? <laughs> it's not too shabby. You take care, Johnny. And I end this call, and it fills on hold. I take him off a of hold. Phil, thanks very much. I've got to get back to the keynote now. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.
All righty. So, now I've also got a way to make a list of favorites here for my most often called numbers, so I can just touch it once and dial, dial the number. And I might want to add somebody to favorites. So let's say I want to add Phil Schiller. I just push that plus button in the upper right-hand corner right there, and up pop my favorites. And I can just go to uh, the S's here, and there, there's Phil. So uh, Phil Schiller right there. And uh, I'll put, uh, let's say I want to put Phil's work number. And it's added Phil right there. You can see the favorites. I can edit favorites by pushing the edit button in the upper left-hand corner. And I can move Phil up if I want to, you know, maybe to the top. And uh, let's say I'm not going to, you know, talk. Tony's changed his number. I've got to update this anyway, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I could just remove Tony. Boom. So there we go. It's that simple to edit these things. Very, very easy. I've got recents right here, which is all my recent phone calls. If I want to see the ones I've missed, which are in red, I can just go up and touch that button at the top. And boom, those are all the ones I've missed. And those are all the calls that I've placed or have gotten. If I want to dial the phone, if I'm real last century, I can push keypad here. And uh, I can dial a call just with, oops, called four, sorry. <laughs> Wrong number. Uh, 408, uh, 996, 1010. And it formats the numbers. And uh, if I want to, I can uh, just keep dialing. Let's say it's a European number. And the numbers just keep getting smaller. Real simple. Very simple to dial with a keypad. Now let me show you visual voicemail. This is so cool. This is a collaboration that we've done, uh, which I'll talk more about later. And uh, it allows us to have random access voicemail, go directly to the voicemails we want. So as an example, I come to my voicemail and I say, oh, there's one by Al Gore. I want to hear that one. I just push it. Hi, Dave. Wish I could be there today. I'm here in Nashville training people to give my slideshow. But I wanted to say congratulations on the iPhone. It is unbelievably cool. Good luck with the presentation. Call me later. Now, if I want to call Al back right now, I can just push that call back button. But I want to listen to one from Tim Cook I've got here. So let me listen to Tim. Hi, Steve. It's Tim. I've got the results for last quarter. Revenue was, you know, I'll just wait and tell you when I see you in person. Good luck on the keynote. See you there. Isn't this awesome? And so I've got voicemail, how I want to listen to it, when I want to listen to it, in any order I want to listen to it with visual voicemail. So that is a quick tour of the phone app. Now what I want to do is show you SMS texting. So I just go to that SMS icon in the upper left-hand corner and push it. And I not only have SMS texting, but I have multiple sessions. So I can be carrying on conversations with people, and every time I get a new message from them, I'll be alerted to that, and I can go check it out. So as an example here, I've got Eddie Q, and I've been carrying on a conversation with Eddie, and I just tap this, and here's the conversation I've been carrying on right here. Right? And if there's a new message, they'll tell me. So there's a new message from Phil, and uh, let's see, the conversation was what? Hey, Steve. Hi. Still on for dinner tonight? Absolutely. Your turn to pick. I've picked Sushi Ron. How about 7 o'clock tonight? And I, say, I can just say... You know, sounds great. And I've got this little keyboard, which is phenomenal. It does error pre uh, prevention and correction. Uh, not that I won't make some. I probably will. But it's actually really fast to type on. It's faster than all these little plastic keyboards on all these smartphones. 